Yes. You can cook a chicken by screaming at it. Un unless you're a human, of course, as I have just demonstrated, then your lung capacity and the limits of human anatomy kind of get in the way. But you absolutely could cook a chicken with sound. I mean, sound is just a type of energy. And obviously your screams are sound. So the natural question that arises is, how long and how loud would I have to scream at raw chicken for in order to cook it? I will have a solid answer for you by the end of the video, so stick around if you want to find out what that is. Let me preface this by saying, though, that the process we will take to get there is grossly oversimplified. When, when physicists talk about spherical cows, th this is what we mean. Step one, we're going to assume that the chicken we're trying to cook is cut into very thin slices. So it's going to be 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by one millimeter. For all you guys who have taken a high school chemistry class or a low level thermodynamics class, this equation should look familiar. All that this equation is saying is that if you put this much energy into this amount of this type of substance, it will raise the temperature by this many degrees. If we take the density of your average chicken breast to be 1.15 grams per cubic centimeter, that means that this whole slab of chicken weighs 0 0.0115 kilograms. Chicken has a specific heat of about 3,500 joules per kilogram degree Celsius. And assuming that you want to make sure all of the salmonella bacteria are completely dead, you're going to want to raise the temperature of this chicken from 4 degrees Celsius, or the temperature of your average refrigerator, to 74 degrees Celsius so a total change in temperature of 70 degrees Celsius. Accomplishing that will take approximately 2,800 joules of energy. So if the goal is to hit 100 square centimeters with 2,800 joules of energy, we are going to need to produce a sound with an intensity of 281,000 joules per square meter. So how loud and for how long do you have to scream to do that? Well, first of all, as I'm sure you've noticed, sound dissipates as it travels, meaning it gets less intense the farther away you are. Which means we need to take the distance from your scream to the chicken into account. So, for the sake of argument, let's just say that you have decided to hold the chicken at a comfortable 20 centimeters away from your face while you scream at it. Next, we're going to want to take a look at this equation right here. All that this is saying is that the decibels, which is what we use to measure loudness, is equal to 10 times the logarithm of the intensity of your sound wave divided by this constant I naught, which is 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. Now we're going to take a look at this I right here. Intensity is equal to the power of your wave divided by the area that it is landing on. Or in other words, the amount of energy that hits a given area over some time interval. Here we are using 4 pi r squared for the area because sound spreads out spherically from a source and 4 pi r squared is the surface area of a sphere. So, since this guy equals intensity, we're going to take it and plop it right into that other equation that we were working with. Here is a reminder of what all of those variables stand for, if you want a reminder, and, well, let's begin. So, we said that the amount of energy that the chicken needs to absorb is about 2800 joules, and again we multiply that by 100 so that we have units of joules per square meter. You're going to be holding it away from your face at 20 centimeters and if you want to cook the chicken in a reasonable amount of time, say 20 minutes, that means that you are going to have to be able to hold a 146.7 decibel scream for 20 minutes. For reference, that's similar to the noise that you would hear standing next to a rocket launch. And there you go. If you can mimic the noise levels of a rocket launch for 20 minutes, you might be able to cook that chicken. Now, if you are like me, you probably don't have a lot of confidence in your ability to do that. The average human can only scream at about 100 decibels. So maybe the better question is, if I'm screaming at 100 decibels, how long do I have to scream at it for? 
We'll take this equation, rearrange it so that it's solved for time, and we'll find that in order to cook the chicken, screaming at 100 decibels, you have to scream at it for about 649 days, or just a little bit shy of two years. And there you go, by the time you're done screaming at it, it'll probably have rotted away. Huh. That all seemed a little bit too... simple, though, didn't it? Well, I mean... It probably felt too simple because it is too simple. First of all, keep in mind that the piece of chicken we're working with is really, really, really small. Like, only about 10 times heavier than a paperclip, kind of small. So how come we made the chicken so small? Why is it so thin? Well, remember, spherical cow. Chicken is not a two-dimensional area. It has volume. As the sound moves through the chicken, it's going to be absorbing energy differently in different places. It's going to be dissipating as it goes through the chicken. Additionally, since sound propagates out spherically, you're going to get different intensities in different spots on the chicken. So the center is going to be overcooked while the edges are undercooked. So I made it so thin and relatively small so that you could approximate it as a two-dimensional thing and not really have to worry about the differences in sound propagation. I did start this problem out trying to solve it the quote-unquote proper way, but I got some really nasty differential equations pretty early on, and I really did not feel like solving them for what is ultimately more of a joke of a video than anything. Because, I mean, unless your name is Karen, you're not going to be able to hold a scream that loud for that long anyways. Nobody is cooking their chicken by screaming at it. I guess unless one of you who is watching this video decides, you know what, I'm going to be the first. I'm going to scream at my chicken, cook it all the way through, and eat it. And then you're going to give it a try, and you're going to die of salmonella poisoning because you, you, you just can't do that, man. What you can do, however, is um, like this video video and subscribe if you feel like it and watch one of these things on the end screen right now as well. We're closing in on a thousand subscribers so if this video didn't make you want to subscribe then watch one of these and maybe you'll want to subscribe after that.